Well, well in the year 2000, um, I think I'll probably be the spaceship to the moon dictating robots to robots, or else I may be, I don't know, having a, in charge of a robot court, judging some robots, or I may be at the funeral of a computer, or if something's gone wrong with their nuclear bombs, I may be sort of coming back from hunting in a cave. Well, I don't like the idea of sort of getting out and finding you've got a cabbage pill to eat for breakfast or something. Oh, I think um, well, all these atomic bombs will be dropping around the place. And it was, one will get near the centre because it will sort of make a huge, great big crater. And then the whole world will just melt and the world will become one vast atomic explosion. And it will become like a supernova, stars. Race riots. Extreme racial tension and unrest. Some mad will get the atomic bomb and um, just blow the world into oblivion. There's nothing you can do to stop it. The more people who get bombs, the more... Well, somebody's going to use it one day. Well, I think that there'll be so, it'll be so overpopulated that there'll be wars, all the nuclear explosions and everything. It'll make the Earth, you know, too much radiation on it. It'll become too hot to live on. I think that there'll be no life at all, really, on, on the Earth. Most of the major cities will be replaced with vast pleasure domes used exclusively by the Excelsiites, who are the neo-upper class. I don't think there is going to be atomic warfare, but I think that there is going to be all this automation. People are going to be out of work and a great population. I think something has to be done about it. I, that's, if I wasn't a biologist, I, that's what I'd like to do, um, to do something about the, the uh, population problem. Try and try and sort of um, temper it somehow. I don't know how. I think it will be very dull, and people would all be squashed together so much there won't be any fun or anything. And people will be rationed to the amount of things they can have, because if they had too many things, it would just squash their houses, and they, there just wouldn't be room for them. Trash economy, the abundance of trash. What are we going to do with it? Are we going to put it on an island? Are we going to make it somebody else's problem? Or are we going to take the initiative and take this problem by the horns? Trash economy. You use cubes of trash as money. Everybody becomes rich. It's a gold rush. I think it'll be, uh, um, people will be regarded more as statistics and as actual people. I don't think it's going to be so nice. I think sort of all machines everywhere, everyone doing everything for you, you know, you'll get all bored and... I don't think it'll be so nice. By my calculations, we have five years until the world ends. Unless we can start to reverse things like pollution and war. Pollution, war, these are big problems. Fix it, now! I think it's going to be very boring. And everything will be the same. I mean, people will be the same and things will be the same. I... First of all, there's computers are taking over now computers and automation and in the year 2000 there just won't, won't be enough jobs to go around and the only jobs there will be will pe be for people with high HQ, you know, high IQ who can work computers and such things and other people are just not going to have jobs, there just aren't going to be jobs for them to have. I expect they will set aside parts of the country solely for recreation uh, and have large blocks of built up areas. And I think these are going to be very ugly indeed, probably. No, I don't think I'll still be on Earth. I think I'll be under the sea. I think the population will have gone up so much that um, either everyone will be living in sort of big domes on the Sahara or they'll be under the sea.